Okay, good morning, guys. It is 8.51. Hey. There goes landfill in morning, though. Thanks, guys. <laughs> awesome, 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 folks, man. I love those two so much. Um, it is 8.51 in the morning on the 24th day of April, the 21st day on the Pacific Crest Trail, and the temperature 58.8 degrees, and I'm back up here at, I don't even know how to say the name of this road, um, heading north, heading north again. So after that 13-mile slack pack yesterday, feeling great, had a great little, like, grill out with um, landfill and morning dove, gadget, smooth, uh, Cara and Doe um, back at the back at the campsite, and then I wound up camping with Landfill and Morning Dove back over there. Um, but got some good rest. Batteries charged up. Got some great breakfast this morning. I am 30 miles from Deep Creek Hot Spring or something. Um, today is Monday, so I'm hoping I can get to Deep Spring tomorrow on a Tuesday. And uh, what I'd love to do. It's 20 today, 10 tomorrow, and then have a very chill day hanging out at the hot springs tomorrow. I think that'd be amazing. But frankly, if it's 30 miles, anyway, you cut that up between today and tomorrow, um, should should be able to get in decently early, um, which would be great, and hang out, relax at the hot springs some. And then I got two more days or so of hiking before Cajon, and then another day or so of hiking, maybe two days to get to Wrightwood which will be my next night in a bed at Wrightwood. Um, just got to the trailhead and saw Corey the Fast Texan and some of that crew. Um, this is the Altitution crew now. Um, so really, really cool to see them. I haven't seen them since south of San Jacinto, which feels like ages ago now. But of all the random meetups, considering I haven't seen them forever, well, what feels like forever, Cool to run into them right here at the trailhead. So, uh, anyways, feeling great. Carrying three and a half days of food, um, plus a very full belly. Feeling good. We'll see how far we get today, and then uh, do the balance to get to Deep Creek tomorrow. That's all I got, and I'll talk to you later. I can feel it in my bones. Nothing personal. Got me looking like a clown. Tell me all the slides down Tell me I'll be what I eat Can I do that? I got my needs Post the curtain, kill the sound Someone always slides down oh, I can tell you you're a dancer Throwing your hands in the air that you answer When I ask you if you want to, you're a panther I'm a little too for a boy, you a trans girl I put on left, right, it just says cancer I can go change if you want to I mean no, I mean no things that you don't do I won't put a foot on the floor unless I am sure You just jump head first, hope for an encore Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, girl I can pay for the nice return I can feel it in my bones And it's them to us some more Got me looking like a clown Summer always let us down Tell me I'll be what I eat Can I be that I got my knees Close the curtain, kill the sound Summer always let us down Hey, hey, dirty chicks, you got plenty of them Hey, hey, my kicks, come on, turn the dust in Hey, hey, blah, blah, then you walk away And I turn to the pipe to forget your name Like Lenny, I imagine that you like me Like many, I don't know who I'm trying to be I'm sure I was wrong, but so were you So go up your high horse, shovel the gold Some more. 
p.m. 78.4 degrees. Just made it to Splinter's cabin. I was in the rap from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, oh, sorry about the wind. I didn't put it on the windscreen. It's like, ooh, what, 19.7 miles into the day or something like that? Feeling pretty good about it. Should be fine. I'm um, not quite 20, but that's fine. Tomorrow's only like 10 or something. Not really sure what tomorrow's gonna what tomorrow's gonna be. Um, there's that hot spring, and I kind of had in mind to just stop and stay at the hot spring all afternoon and hang out and enjoy it. But uh, I think we're gonna kind of see oh, these gnats. I think we're gonna kind of see um, exactly how cool the hot spring is and whether I actually want to sink a whole day into hanging out there, whether I just want to stop and hang out for a few hours and then maybe get a few more miles in, I don't really know. Um, ran into Altitution, Mike, uh, Jarrett, and Corey the Fast Texan on the trail. Um, they're also earmarking the spot as a stopping spot. Looks like there's already maybe a half dozen people here or something, so it might be a little crowded, but I'll see if I can't find a spot a little bit out of the way anyways. But for now, I mean, still got my pack on, so I'm gonna go ahead and get comfortable, uh, make up some dinner, see if I can't find a spot to call home for the night. It's gonna be it for the night, feeling pretty good. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, I came back on just to kind of show you the shelter situation. So this is, again, splinter shelter, and there's not much to it, really. Just kind of this, whatever, maybe four and a half foot sort of stone wall around the perimeter. Um, nice big beefy picnic table in here. Sealed up fireplace. You can see one camper's already, one hiker's already pitched up here for the night. And then a few tents outside, another picnic table. Another tent, another picnic table, another tent, another picnic table. And there's actually, uh, so I, I just cowboy camped. I, I'm all pitched up to cowboy camp. Kind of, I don't know if you can see right up here, there's like a couple of, uh, like pit privies, but they're all they're all locked up. I think the road coming up here is closed, so I kind of just found a, a flat spot, sort of like in the parking lot up here of the um, whatever shelter or picnic area or whatever it is exactly, and just kind of set my stuff up over there. So so it'll be away from everyone and kind of camping near people, but also kind of on my own. So, um, anyways, that is Splinter Shelter, uh, and I'm all done with dinner, uh, brushed my teeth, so now I will get to processing videos and thinking about bunk time. So. Uh, I'm not sure, I probably won't wake up super early tomorrow if I'm only going to go, you know, 10 miles to get to that hot spring, but we'll kind of see how we go. Alright.